Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here tonight for our new bunk update. Uh, we have a lot of great and exciting news for you. Um, but let me please first thank you again for showing up in such huge numbers. We had to actually change the venue last minute to a bigger place. So thank you for your enthusiasm. Now, we have a lot of great stuff to show you tonight. But first, uh, I'd like to talk you through what has happened over the past six months. So Bunk started uh, November 24th last year, which is about six months ago, after years of uh, preparation. And we had a very basic plan in place. We figured, let's start slow, invite all our friends and family who isn't uh, onboarded yet, take their feedback, improve the app, iron out any bugs we might encounter, and slowly but surely grow it from there. But then, this happened. So we're going to eat with four. And then we can take the app. Yeah, nice idea. And then we can take the app. And then what do we do precisely? I don't know. Okay, what we're going to do is... Then we'll have first a super fun evening. Can I tell you? And then comes the moment. Is that a flirt? Yeah, I don't know. What is it? What is it? We sat just in the make-up room. Yes, this turned out to be a life-changing event. For two reasons. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So first of all, I can't show my face any place anymore without someone asking me how it went with Halina. So, but secondly, this was the kickoff of a lot of media attention in the Netherlands. Uh, TV, uh, newspapers, online, offline, we got covered everywhere. We have a small snippet here. And the whole plan of starting slow kind of got killed right there, and we exploded right from the beginning, and we were getting so much enthusiastic feedback and so much users. I think at its height, we were getting 10 new users per minute, even, for hours and hours on end. Yeah, thank you, thank you. And of course, we had to revoke all the holidays, and everybody came back, and we were working day and night, and I think we even had some people sleeping in the hallway. <laughs> Yeah, so thanks a lot for your enthusiasm. Uh, because you signed up in such huge numbers, you gov gave us uh, a lot of feedback we could use to improve the app much quicker than we otherwise would have, so thanks a bunch. Uh, we made a small compilation video just to see what some Bunk users say about Bunk. Let's have a look. Dat je meteen uh, een ideal deposit kan doen op je account. Je pas kan koppelen aan verschillende rekeningen. Eindelijk chill met ideal betalen. Ik vind de request heel erg fijn. Die automatische kassa's, dat vind ik echt geweldig. Notificaties die live binnenkomen. Dat je gewoon met één pasje, met z'n tweeën. Je weet dat er een factuur aankomt. Je maakt een foto en het is eigenlijk al gedaan. Zonder uh, allerlei gedoe met formulieren of wat dan ook. Het is gewoon veilig. Dat is het gewoon. Soms zitten jullie echt om, om 11 uur dan nog op die chat. Dan denk ik echt, wauw. Dat zie ik bij andere banken nog niet zo gauw gebeuren. Dat... Heel leuk en heel fris. Zo als het tegenwoordig zou moeten. Ik vind het echt fantastisch. En Bunk is te gek, hè? Ja, en gezellig. Bunk is een nieuwe werkwoord. Toon is leg. Download het gewoon. Probeer het gewoon. Gewoon doen. Het verandert je leven. So, thank you guys. We really love you too. Thank you so much. We are so appreciative of your feedback. I mean, we have done a lot of stuff. Um, because of all the feedback you've given us, we have been doing something really amazing. And anybody who has ever worked in IT can confirm this, I think. Because we have been pushing out new features and improvements and enhancements on a weekly basis for months now. And that's thanks to your feedback. So thanks a bunch. Now, because there has been so many new things put out there, I can't tell you all about them because it's simply too many. But there are two things we'd like to highlight tonight, because there are two things we're particularly proud of, and we think they're nice to highlight on an evening like this. The first one is the business accounts, which we launched a couple of weeks ago. Um, and they're very nice, because if anyone here, and I think there are quite some people here who, has, who have had these unfortunate experience of having to open a business account with an ordinary, traditional old bank. It usually goes something like this. You have to call your account manager, uh, make an appointment, then you have to drive up to the uh, bank branch, park your car somewhere, then walk all the way over to the bank branch, because we live in the Netherlands. You have a 
95% chance that you'll get wet because of the rain. Yeah, then it turns out you forgot something, he forgot something, somebody forgot something, and you spend half a day wasted and you just hope to get your bank account afterwards. But with Bunk, we did something groundbreaking and we shortened that process and we made it a lot more easy because with us, you can sign up for a Bunk business account in just five minutes by using only your mobile phone. So you can be in the comfort of your business appointment, uh, at home, at the office, and you can even sign up tonight. I won't mind, it's fine. <laughs> so that's the first thing. The second thing we did with the business accounts is we made the, uh, the cost very transparent. And we also chose for you only to pay for what you actually use. The reason for it was that a while back, I think it was seven or eight years ago, at TransIP we were in the fortunate position to uh, get our first CFO in. I think he might be here tonight even. But anyway, TransIP was my previous company. And uh, if already in his second week, he asked for a couple of minutes to discuss something, and he came up to me and he asked me a very simple question, which was, Ali, do you know how much we're paying for our banking cost? So this was seven or eight years ago, and Trans TransIP was a lot smaller than it is now. Uh, and I figured it can't be that much, right? Maybe a couple of hundred euros? It turns out I was gravely mistaken, because even back then, it turned out to be tens of thousands of euros already. So right then and there, we knew that if we were going to do anything going forward, be it at TransIP, be it Bank now, we wanted to be very transparent. This has caused us to have business accounts that you always know what you pay for upfront because we have a price sheet that you can actually understand. You can look up all the costs you have made real time so you never get surprised. You only pay for what you actually use so you can have your own business account for just one euro a month. Yeah. Thanks. The second really nice feature we built was automatic debits. And uh, automatic debits, as you might know, as you probably know, is a really easy system to pay for recurring fees, such as uh, your rent or your mortgage or your Netflix account. But there was something fundamentally flawed in the way automatic debits had been created before we came to the stage. Because, and I think you might have had this similar experience, you didn't actually know when money was debited from your account. So you were standing at the cashier's place at the Albert Heijn, paying for your groceries, only to find out you had insufficient cash. I know it has happened to me <laughs> quite some time. So we figured, hey, wouldn't it be more logical to let you actually know before we let somebody else touch your money? So we went out and we did just precisely that. So at Bank, every time somebody attempts an automatic debit on your account, you get a push notification and we let you decide whether you want to allow or disallow somebody else touching your money or taking it. Now this has a secondary benefit because you can also choose from which bank account you actually do the debit, which is really handy when you, know, you have Netflix and you share those costs with your roommates so you can have a shared account connected with them. And there's one other kind of hidden feature which our student users, which are kind of cunning, who are kind of cunning, found out. And that's, we give you five days to respond to the, to the request. So if you're kind of tight at the end of the month, you can give yourself a little bit of wiggle room before approving it. So there's a hidden tip right there. Anyway, yeah. This feature was so nice that even the Dutch National Consumer Association talked about it and said we might actually be the first bank that thinks about their users' well-being. So I think that's a nice compliment to get. <laughs> Thank you. But we're not here for the past today, but we're here for the future. Because thanks to your great feedback, 
we have made a number of interesting observations. And we have been doing something that's really incredible. Because despite pushing out new releases on a weekly basis, I can tell you tonight with great excitement that we've been working on a special project and that we're going to launch this project tonight. It's Bunk V2. Yeah. Yeah. Let me be the first to thank our developers, our coders, our DevOps. I don't know how you guys pulled it off, but it's truly amazing. So thanks, thanks a bunch from me personally as well. Uh, Bunk V2 is all about using Bunk on a regular basis because we notice that once you start bunking, you often bunk frequently after each other. Now, if you think about it, this is kind of logical because you go out with some friends, uh, you have a drink, you want to split the bill, and then, let's be honest, who stops after the first round of drinks? So you get another round and you split the bill or you get a chat or a request message and the whole thing gets used way more often than a normal bank account. So this was a very important observation for us. Secondly, uh, we noticed that the group thing is really important. I know it kind of says together in our, in our logo right there, but you really use Bunk in a group fashion. So this was a very uh, important observation as well. So Bunk V2 is all about being tailored to that use case and making your user experience a lot uh, nicer in that regard. So the first thing that's really important when you use something very often is that it's fast. Now, over the course of the past months, we have been doing all kinds of geeky, technical, difficult stuff, which I'm not going to explain to you, to optimize the database, the database where all your data and your transactions are stored. Now, I won't bore you with all the gory details, but I can tell you that as of this morning, we deployed all the settings, and your overview will load 2.1 times faster now. Yeah. You'll definitely notice this as you use it more frequently and more frequently. Now, secondly, as we were having a celebratory round of drinks at Bunk, it was Petros who came up to me and said something. Now, for the people who don't know Petros, Petros is a very valued developer uh, from Greek descent, and the way he talks English is kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right? So I'm going to try to impersonate him, but I'm the worst impersonator in, in the world, so bear with me. Anyway, so Petros, after a round of, couple of rounds of drinks, he comes up to me and says, Ali, I'm really bored of having to log in every time. Can't we fix these? Well, sorry, sorry for the impersonation, Petros. You can actually hear him talk afterwards. It's, it's funny. Ask him how his batteries are. So as a part of Bunk V2, Petros, I can't see where you're sitting. But yes, yes, we can fix it. And we just did. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to connect my phone to the screen, which is always an adventure by itself. Yes, it's working. OK, so I'm going to tap the beautiful Monk logo and log in using my Touch ID. Now, as of tonight's update, which we'll be releasing during this presentation, right, or shortly after maybe, uh, you'll see a new event waiting for you in the top. It says, set auto logout. Now, I'm going to tap it. There we go. And now you can actually choose for how long you want to stay logged in for. Previously, when you exited the app, you would get logged out every time after a few seconds. And we figured, hey, if you're using the app the entire night, you don't want to log in every time because that's just plain annoying. So I'm going to tap this. Now you can choose between one minute and a whole week. The old behavior basically was comparable to one minute. Um, I like to set it at a week because I have my phone with me at all times anyway, and it's already protected by the phone's uh, password. So there we go. Now, secondly, um, we can choose to even do some small payments without having to enter a PIN or Touch ID. You can set it at zero, which is basically the old setting, or you can set it all up the way to 100 if you like but I'm going to set it at 50. 
because that seems reasonable. Okay, now I'm going to show you something really amazing. I'm going to exit the app. We're going to pretend that we're having, you know, we're having a good time, we're having drinks, and now a request comes in, or there's a bill to be split, or whatever there is, I'm going to tap the bunk logo, and something amazing will happen. I'm in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is going to make a huge difference, I can promise you, but more about that later. Now, I'll prove that I can even do a small payment to Judy without having to log in again, which is really nice. Judy is getting slowly richer and richer with all the trial runs we have done before, so there we go. That's it, and you don't need to do anything. Now, we made a small comparison video on just how much of a difference these two things really make. Let's have a quick look. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Edo, for the genius music there. It's really great. So it's four times faster. You can start doing payments four times quicker. You can start sending requests four times faster. You can reply to chats or start new chats four times faster. It's going to make a huge difference. We've been in a fortunate position to have this feature for quite a while now. And I can tell you it's just amazing. It's fantastic. It's going to save you a lot of time and thereby it's going to give you a whole new level of bunking together. But obviously we didn't stop there because bunking is also about uh, having your friends as a group so you can bunk together. Now, six months ago when we launched Bunk, we already did something groundbreaking. We let you sign up as a person uh, for your Bunk account in just five minutes and by only using your mobile phone. With Bunk V2, we just took it a step further because we're introducing Bunk Fast Sign Up tonight, which lets you sign up for Bunk in just one minute. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. I'll show you how it works, and I'm going to connect a different device since, you know, I'm obviously a Bunk user already. I'm going to tap the Bunk logo. There we go. Now, obviously, I want to create an account. I have to enter my phone number. There we go. I tap next in the top right corner. Now all kinds of security stuff is happening behind the scenes. And I'll get a confirmation code. There we go. Seven, nine. Now I want to open a personal account, so I'm going to tap that. Enter my email address. There we go. Now I tap next. Now I enter all my names which is just the first and the last. Let's pretend I was born in 91. <laughs> I find that idea comforting. Read to the terms and conditions. There we go. I have to scan my face for future. There we go. I hope it works. Yes. OK. Now, choose a login code. Don't choose a simple one like I'm doing now. There we go, and already an account is being created. So, we have a bank account now. You can start sending requests, you can start doing payments, you can add pictures to your payments and your requests, you can chat to each other, you can do all kinds of fun stuff. For some of the more advanced features, you need to complete your registration for regulatory purposes. Now, that's very easy, you just tap this entry, complete your registration, and it will take you another three minutes and you'll be done with it. But that's something for later. So, there we are. I guess it's time for our final feature. This is the feature I've been looking forward to most. We have had this lying around for quite a while, but saved it for a good moment. And what moment is better than Bunk V2? We have been shaping it, we have been working on it. 
And I guess the best way to uh, describe it is by giving you a little uh, scenario of what has happened to Judy, who's sitting there, my trusty sidekick. Hi, Judy. So Judy finally came to his senses and decided to move to Amsterdam. Now, for him, this meant, uh, yes, welcome. Amsterdam welcomes you. For him, this meant selling his car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, Anyone who has ever sold a car before knows the whole situation is kind of unpleasant. You sell your car to someone you don't know, then the guy shows up with a, uh, not a briefcase, but an envelope full of money, depending on the car, by the way, with an envelope full of money. You are hoping that the money isn't counterfeit and that the count is correct. He's hoping that you won't rob him. The whole situation is really weird. Um, it also reminds me of the time I bought my first car, which is a long time ago, longer than I'd like to admit. But anyway, I basically went to the bank and exchanged all my life savings for a stack of colored paper, put that in an envelope, put it in my inner jacket, then entered the public transport because I simply didn't have, have a car before, obviously, and had to be in public transit for about two or two and a half hours. Meanwhile, my whole life savings are in my pocket. I'm trying not to lose it. I'm trying to act normal. I'm trying, you know, not to get robbed. So I get there, I don't know the guy, is he going to take my money, is he a fair guy, I don't know. Conversely, the guy doesn't know me. And you know, he's obviously worried that uh, the money might, might be counterfeit or there might be something wrong with it. And after the exchange and the transaction is done, the guy actually goes back to the same bank to transfer the same stack of paper to uh, some digits in his bank account. So we figured we could do a whole lot better than that. And we, but with Bunk V2, we just did, because we're introducing Bunk Me. And with Bunk Me, you can do something very simple, yet very powerful, because you can send money requests to any other person in the Netherlands with any other bank and get paid real time. <laughs> yeah. Real-time money transfers between banks. We just did it. So, to show you how it works, we figured it would be really nice to have a special guest here. Now, some say he loves his cars more than his mother. I've tried asking him once or twice, but he just gave me an awkward glaze. Please welcome the Stig. Welcome, Sig. Yes, 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 he tends to do that. I've known him for quite a while now, and this is always the way he is with me. So, Stig, I have something nice for you. It's actually in my pocket. It's a really nice red car. Do you want it? Yeah, I figured. It's a really fast one, huh? Cool. So maybe we should connect our phones to the screen so the audience can see what we're doing. Yeah. I beat you to it. I thought you were the fast guy. Anyway. <laughs> Love the background. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to tap the bunk logo. There we go. Oh, and I'm in already. I love this auto logo thing. I just love it. Yeah. Now, the way Bunk, Bunk Me uh, works is really elegant. It's really simple. You just tap request in the top left corner like you would do normally. There we go. Now, let's just say I'm going to request nine euros for that beautiful red car. Uh, Stay, can you tell me your phone number? Oh, yeah, right. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to type in Stig's phone number. There we go. Type in a description, your car. Here we go. Thank you, Stig. And now I just need to tap on request in the top right corner. There we go. And the app will ask me to confirm that I actually want to send a request to someone who isn't a bunk user, which I obviously want. Now keep your eye on Stig's screen because something's about to happen. 
He gets a text message. Please open the text message. There we go. And you can actually click on the bunk me link. As an extra security precaution, you have to re-enter your phone number. So please go ahead and enter your phone number. Thank you. Tap continue. Now, obviously, the smart thing to do here, because you can pay by both IDEO as well as Bunk, is to use Bunk. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, right? <laughs> and if, even if you don't have Bunk yet, you can just sign up in one minute, as we just demonstrated. And now I know from the past couple of tries that Stig did, he's been trying to sign up for Bunk for a while now. But unfortunately, we can't identify him. So, you know, I'm sorry. You have to keep using your old bank. So please tap ideal. Now select your bank. There we go. And tap pay. So now he's going to do the whole ideal thing, which will take a couple of seconds. Now keep your eye on my screen. Something amazing is going to, there it is. We just did bank to bank real time transfer. Thank you, Sig. Thank you. Here's your car. Thank you for your time. Thanks for being here. Go away. OK, bye. Thank you, Sig. Yeah, so we figured uh, this is going to be really nice, a really nice feature, not just for selling your car, but of course for a lot of stuff as well. Wherever uh, there's an exchange between two private people, two persons, this is going to come in handy. I've heard of some of my lady friends. They tend to sell their shoes on Marktplatz, as the Dutch eBay is called. It's really handy there. Um, we had King's Day the other day, uh, and a lot of people sell some stuff on the street. It would be really handy there as well. Because what we've effectively done tonight is turn your mobile phone into your own personal pin terminal. Yeah. So just to show you what it might look like in some scenarios, let's have a look. Thank you. Thank you. We strongly believe this is going to change everything. This is a huge thing. Trust me. So I guess 
it's time to launch Monk V2 now. Like, Julie is going to press some buttons. Yeah. Press some buttons. Yeah. Okay, he's going to press the buttons now. So Monk V2 will be available uh, for you shortly. It will take a couple of minutes. I want to thank you for being here tonight, for sharing this amazing moment with us of the Monk V2 launch. Invite your friends to join Bunk. Let's bunk together. Thank you. When a fire starts to...